Are you a fan of Victor? Head on over to muchmusic.com slash VJ search. Take a look at all the top 40 hopefuls and pick your favorite and then start telling everybody that you want them to be the next Much Music VJ. And you know when you're the next Much, Much, Much Music VJ, you get to interview some really cool people, including one of our favorite shows. Make some noise for Degrassi. All right. It's not a Friday unless we bring him out in style. Please, NML, help me bring out Annie, Alex, Christine, and Demetrius. You have, you bought a shirt of Gerard. Gerard already has a shirt. Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. You always got the kicks, always got the kicks. And good to see you as well. Have a seat, have a seat, guys. I swear, Gerard has his own t-shirts and everything. Oh, wow, wow, amazing. <laughs> so I love having you guys here on Friday. It's always like the start of the weekend, right? It gets everybody excited, the energy in here is crazy. But I gotta talk about last week's episode. I mean, mine, push. Blown. Nice. Yo, that was as a kid? What's going on? I was, I was crazy. How cute is he, too? Adorable. Adorable. Of course, I make cute kids. <laughs> <laughs> the hair, the hair was swaggy, I know. So, yeah, I know, when right? you're reading that script, are you like, uh, whoa, 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 I'm a father now? Literally. Yeah. Like, my hands went up in complete exclamation. I couldn't believe it. And when Rob was right beside me, and at the same time, we were both just like, holy jeez. <laughs> it was crazy. Has no there idea. been anything else that you guys have seen in the script that's kind of like, oh my gosh, I can't believe my character's going this way, or I can't believe another character? Is going this way. Um, a couple things. Every episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every yeah. episode. There's oh, yeah. always gasps in the in the uh, read throughs, and we're always looking at each other like, "What? This is gonna happen? We're gonna do this? Like, yeah. it's, it's pretty cool." I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I guess so. Let's, yeah. let's, let's approach it head on. Honestly, sometimes I just like start reading ahead because the storylines are just so like. Yeah. I was gonna say it's. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like your favorite book, right? You you just wanna you don't wanna like wait for it. You kind of wanna finish it up yeah, and then not leave nothing. You just wanna get the entire season. Yeah. And when we have read throughs, it's like watching the show as fans so it's the first time we get to see yeah. what's going on with our characters well fiona had a, a pretty tough episode last week i mean uh, kudos on her for getting the job you know the the, the juice job is is, is that dope hat, that hat the hat the is hat. crazy <laughs> but then something very kind of crazy happened as well where, where it's like social media these days you kind of leave yourself open and vulnerable um have you guys ever experienced that with your twitter accounts people kind of following you or stalking you I got a couple of marriage proposals, but yeah. I think that's like a usual thing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's nice. That's yeah. sweet. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to. Yeah. Like, I, why not? I remember reading. You'd love that to episode. get married? Or? Well, oh yeah, that. <laughs> of course. Um, I remember reading that episode and thinking, is my GPS on my on my phone on? And I checked, and luckily it wasn't. But that happens but all it's the crazy. time. Yeah, yeah. It just happened like that. All right. Well, um, Fiona was in a tough situation last week, I think because Imogen was kind of giving her a cold shoulder. So let's see how they deal with it on tonight's episode. We have a little clip right here for you. Now, I know you guys are almost professionals, but when you're doing scenes like this, and, and this season has been very, very serious, is there, like, how do you lighten the mood after this, like, after a scene like that? It's more Pretty easy for us. Yeah, I was going to say it's more <laughs> we need to darken the mood. Okay. Because we're always laughing when we have scenes together. So a scene like that where I'm supposed to be crying and all solemn, I had to be like, hey, Christine, like, you need to stop being funny because <laughs> I need to cry. And <laughs> we usually have giggle fits and we can't stop. And the director's like, okay, guys, come on. This like, is your job. Do yeah. your job. And the poor extras who are behind having to walk over and over again. Guys, get it together <laughs> here, man. Exactly, exactly. Um, so you guys were at the GLAAD Awards, actually. How was that? So oh fun. Madonna was there. Yeah. Anderson Cooper. All the celebs. We saw Justin Timberlake at Hello. a Broadway show. Hello. Are you guys fans of the 2020 experience? Um, oh huge gosh. fans. We fangirled when he walked in the room. We were freaking out. We couldn't even watch the play. We were like watching him the whole time. His yeah. reaction to the play. <laughs> I was like, he's laughing. Okay, he's clapping. Okay. He was the first one to give a standing ovation, actually. Yeah. So. It's like I feel like my Google like maps is on right now. Somebody <laughs> knows where I'm at right now. What are you guys? What are you guys up to? What are you listening to, in terms of music? Lots of Lana Del Rey. Can't okay. Get it out of my head. Huge oh, fan. Oh yes, right. <laughs> the thing about Lana Del Rey is I find her remixes are just as good as exactly. like her originals, Ooh. and she's like the artist that everybody wants to remix, right? Just, just amazing. Like she can go any which way, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Demetrius, um, I've been listening to a lot of Kendrick yeah. recently. Um, yeah, he's pretty sweet. His, his album and uh, a little bit of ASAP, and actually so. Who just filmed the video? Who just filmed the video in Toronto too? Oh really? Yeah. yeah and um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this this uh, artist. It's uh, drum and bass kind of style. His name is Netsky. 
And he makes some really good, like, dubstep and, and really upbeat songs. So. Yeah, we know Natsuki. We know Natsuki. <laughs> we know Natsuki. All right, when, when we get back, we are going to turn the mics over to you in the crowd. It's all about you asking these four what you want about tonight's episode of Further Episodes. But as you know, we are going through a VJ search right now. We are in the top 40, and this is the last weekend for you to vote for your top 40 before we cut it into top 20. Get to know one of our top 40 hopefuls, Mr. Drama Diabolus. <laughs> 